Welcome to the e-tutorial on Zotero. Zotero is a free tool to manage your research resources, create in-text citations, cite sources, and build a bibliography or reference list. It also senses content from your web browsers and allows you to add the content to your personal Zotero library. Go to the Zotero website under www.zotero.org and select Download. You will need to download Zotero and install Zotero Connector. First, download the version of Zotero for your operating system. As you can see, it is also possible to download a version of either Mac OS or Linux. Once that is completed, install the browser connector. The type of connector will change depending on the browser you are using. Please ensure the current version of your browser is installed. We also suggest you add the word processing plugin, which works in collaboration with Word and LibreOffice. For full functionality, you will also need to create a free account by registering with Zotero. To start Zotero, just click on the logo from your desktop. Next, it is important to set up your preferences. Select the Edit tab, then Preferences. Under the General tab, File Handling, it is recommended to disable the automatically rename attachment files using Parent Metadata. By choosing the Export tab, you can designate the language and citation style you wish to use for exporting your reference list of bibliography. Under the Cite tab, locate the citation style you need or search in the Zotero style repository. Alternatively, you can import a citation style in a CLS format by selecting the plus symbol. From the Advanced tab, then Files and Folders, you can see the default look folder. In this case, it will be saved to a location on my computer. Before you begin your search for literature, it is wise to create a collection folder for organizing the resources. Click on the New Collection icon and provide a name for the collection. You can also create sub-collections for a specific collection by using the right mouse button. Zotero utilizes several different methods for capturing literature. Item identifier, article icon, direct import, and manually entering the data. Here is a closer look at each method. Item identifiers for books are ISBN numbers. For most journal articles, DOIs are allocated. PMIDs for articles from the PubMed database. And some scientific papers will be assigned with an RC identifier. Select the magic wand icon. Copy-paste the item identifier in the field. The title will appear in the designated collection folder. On the right, you will find the bibliographic information has been added. Next, using the article icon, the Zotero article icon is located on your toolbar and can be best illustrated when using Google Scholar. The icon changes its appearance depending on the type of source. When I select the folder icon, a window opens and allows me to add all or part of the first 10 entries with one click. When an article is selected, Zotero recognizes it as a journal article. Click on the icon and Zotero will add the bibliographic information, a snapshot of the link, and when available, the PDF. The next method is through direct import. Here you can export the bibliographic information, in this case an IRS file format, recognized by Zotero. The PDF of the article can be saved to the desktop and then uploaded as an attachment to the specific record. The last method is manually entering the information. This is sometimes necessary for odd media types, for example interviews, email correspondence, or podcasts. To manually enter information, click on the green plus icon on the Zotero menu bar. A list of possible media types will drop down for you to choose from. It is important to enter all relevant information. Notes of relevant thoughts or comments on a particular reference can quickly be added. In Zotero, there are different methods for creating notes for a specific reference. To do this, select a reference. Click on the Notes tab in the right pane. It creates an editor in which you can write your notes. This can also be achieved by selecting the note icon on the middle pane of the Zotero window. Select Child Note. You can see below the notes are attached to the reference. In addition, you have the possibility to write independent standalone notes that do not have to be attached to a specific item. A 
Another way to organize the content of references is with creating tags. Tags are similar to keywords which can help to describe characteristics about the literature and help you locate like information. They can be assigned via the tags tab located in the right pane. When searching for tags, just enter the tag word in the search box or by using the advanced search icon, both located on the middle pane. Advanced Search is an excellent tool for conducting a search in your Zotero library or a group library where you are a member. There are many different options for creating your search. Here's an example. I would like to search for the references published after 2010. Click on the search icon. Choose where you wish to conduct your search. Start creating a search by filling in the fields. You can add search fields to help refine your search. It is possible to export your data in Zotero to another reference management tool. Select the collection, then Edit, and choose Export Library. There are various export formats to choose from. If you are using LaTeX, then use BibTeX or BibLaTeX, and for Citavi, the IRS format. Zotero has a feature called Timeline. With this tool, you gain an overview of your sources in your library or specific collection, how many are current, and which ones are older. Choose a collection. Under the Tools tab, select Create Timeline. It is divided by three changeable time bands. By scrolling the bands, you can see your references. After installing the Word plugin, Zotero inserts an icon bar into Word. When using Windows, just click on the Zotero tab. Here you can add or edit citations in your document, change document preferences for selecting the citation style, insert or edit the bibliography, refresh or update changes to your citation or bibliography. Before I begin, I need to make sure to have my browser open and click on the Zotero plugin in Word. I will first choose the location of where the citation will be created. Click on Add a Citation. I can search by author name or click on Classic View. When I need the author and publication year, I select the reference I need, include a page number if needed, and select OK. Make sure to check the spacing. Should I need to suppress the name of the author since it's already mentioned in the sentence, I just click the box Suppress Author. In the case when multiple references are being used, I select Multiple Sources. The references I need are created in a list, then I press OK. Zotero, along with Word, remembers the references you have cited. Place the cursor where you want the bibliography to begin. Select Insert Bibliography. The list is organized according to the citation style you have chosen. Make sure to proofread the list. Should you need to correct a reference, just select Edit Bibliography and make the necessary changes. If you wish to use Zotero from more than one computer, you will need to synchronize your data. First, make sure you are registered with a Zotero account. Next, under Edit, choose Preferences, then choose Sync tab. Under the Zotero Sync Service section, provide your account information. Up to 300 megabytes are freely available. Bigger projects may require additional space, which is possible with WebDAV. For more information about WebDAV, contact IT Services. Please remember, in addition to the data itself, appended attachments in PDF format are also included in the limit of 300 megabytes. In the upper hand corner of the Zotero screen, you can see the sync icon. After registering, click on the icon to sync your Zotero data. When using Zotero groups, you have the possibility of sharing resources, which is convenient for group work. It is important to note that you must be logged into your Zotero account when using this feature. Generally, groups can be created as being open to interested parties or by invitation. The group is only visible in the Zotero interface and after synchronizing.